Happy Retro Adventure Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to the stream. It's me, Jess. Glad you could be here tonight, because tonight we are back with more Indiana Jones, the Fave Atlantis. Now, our paths are about to converge. We've been on the team path up to this point. We have now, I guess, uncovered the secret location of the lost city of Atlantis. Uh, we have been taken prisoner aboard a German U-boat. And uh, I think after a puzzle or two, we will arrive hopefully in Atlantis and uh, be on our way to the end game. And, you know, I've really been enjoying this one so far and have been like singing its praises. But everyone tells me it starts to drag a little bit here at the end that the third act is uh, is maybe not as action packed as what's come before. But we'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of that. I hope everybody's well tonight. Glad you could join me. Hope you're having a terrific Retro Adventure Wednesday. I know I am, uh, mostly because this was really exciting. Uh, for the first time so far this year, uh, the ice cream truck hit our neighborhood. Uh, we were hanging out, and uh, my daughter and I after school, and all of a sudden we heard the uh, the telltale chimes of an ice cream truck. Uh, went uh, went running out to the corner, uh, got some uh, fancy gourmet popsicles because it's a fancy uh, ice cream truck. You know, it's it's twenty twenty four, baby. Uh, these things are organic. They've got fresh fruit, all that sort of good stuff. But had a strawberries and cream, uh, basically pudding pop, and it was wonderful. Hey, man, and Calvera, welcome, man. Calvera, good to see you. Glad you could make it in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I think I'm ready to get this show on the road. I don't think there's any need to delay things. We've made it to a U-boat. Who knows what will happen now? Let's hightail it to a submarine. Oh, wow, this is a cool-looking submarine with that Fat and Fish logo. It's too bad it belongs to the ultimate bad guys. Hey, Sarah Kelly. Hey, Dr. Mario. Welcome, man. Everyone's been asking if this game is canon, and the answer is yes. And risk killing a passing Marlin? I was going to, like, shoot up the ruins of Gnosis. Uh, do, do, do. It's my first time playing it, so this is all brand new to me. It's like the gun show here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Walk to Laura Bow. And risk killing a passing dolphin? Well, all of a sudden, Indy cares about sea life. Usually he just hops on top of these things and rides them across the ocean somehow, right? That's like his official canonical move. Well. Call me Moses Maimonides because I am perplexed. Halt! Halt! Uh-oh. I'm the captain here. And I don't tolerate stowaways. <laughs> stowaway, I'm a runaway. Wow. Are you a sub-captain or merely subhuman? Defend yourself, American shrine. Now, I don't know how to fight. I guess that's it. Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, we're getting underway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like I'm the captain now. It's a good line. <laughs> hey Paul, yeah. Indy uh Indy really wrecked that dude. Let's hope we're headed for Atlantis. Looks like I'm the captain now. Now by maritime law, that is in fact how you uh how you determine new captains of boats. It's hand to hand combat. Sub Sub I have seen the death scene associated with this one, 6-7. It is pretty wonderful. Wonderfully sad. A wonderfully sad death scene. Sub. Oh, I get in the sub. Okay. That won't work. Wonderful. It snapped right off. Sweet. Uh, your captain commands all hands to the bow. Strange, our captain didn't used to have an American accent. 
Oh well. Probably nothing. Walk to the lower deck. Maybe Boimler will be there. Boimler. Now comes an RNG random card game. Yeah, when I get into uh, Adventure Game Submarine, I start getting a little nervous. Sweet free bread. I'll take a couple of slices. Hmm. Those sausages? Hold cuts. Don't mind if I do. Are you going to have to make a, a sandwich for a puzzle later? I hope so. Walk to lever. Subs are sub. Crackers in the deep down under. Sorry, Hoagie's in another game. Get the spoiled mayonnaise from. <laughs> That's right, we need that for this puzzle now. Oh, wait. Hey, Dream Ship. Might work. Hey, Cregan. Let me good to see everybody. Heidi. There's just switches and knobs everywhere, huh? And fry myself? Yeah. Don't be a baby. Be a baby, Dr. Jones. Battery acid, huh? I'm not gonna touch that stuff with my bare hands. Gotta pick it up in a clay jar. Okay, oh, I the can. clay jar is full of acid. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. We have a clay jar of acid now. Do you think Harrison Ford has, uh, has ever seen this? Hey, Dream Shit, thank you so much for watching the VOD. I appreciate it. Everyone, I am uploading all these VODs to YouTube. You can find me there as Decap Jedi. Be sure to subscribe over there. Join the community. We'd love to have you. Colts. I bet Harrison Ford, if he had seen this game, Tom would be his normal enthusiastic self about any of the work he's done. I don't think this is the time or place. Sophia, I'm right on the other side of this wall. Sophia. Oh, really? Indy? George can't see. How are we doing this? Uh, wait. We're using our psychic rapport. A message from Nurab Sal. Norab, Classic. What? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Hey, Valiant Cheese. How's it going? Welcome in. Good to see you. I really enjoyed this game so far, too. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Glad you could join us. Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. What I'm going to do is I need you to distract him and I'm going to throw battery acid in his Just face. distract the guard for a while, okay? Classic Indiana Nurab Jones. Sal understands all. Wait. What? Oh, darn. I've lost contact. Too bad. Maybe I need a... Nurabsal summoning GIF as an emoji. I feel like an animated uh, Sophia speaking to Nurabsal. Wait. Would be good stuff. What now? I'm getting another message from Nurabsal. Where are the stone discs? Uh, Nurabsal refuses to share his secrets until he is released. Let's try another plan. Nurab Sal is listening. <laughs> well, what does Nurab Sal suggest? Nurab Sal is confused. This is great. Let's try another plan. 
Nurabsal is listening. <laughs> Nurabsal is listening. I wanted to sick Nurabsal on the guard. Nurabsal is not amused by the jokes of fools. Fools. Let's try another plan. Okay, maybe just. Nurabsal is listening. Just distract the guard for a while, okay? Nurabsal understands all. Oops. Lost contact again. Hey, Ricky. It's too bad we're on a U-boat uh, and not a... Glass bottom boat. It's good thing I have a stream deck mostly just to hit that button occasionally. Excuse me, Mr. Guard. Bruises. You will encounter an African explorer named Spaulding. Hooray right for Captain Spaulding. The African Explorer? Did someone call me Snora? Hooray! 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 Hey, this is another ship rib situation. Who are you? Talk fast, and I better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. Better like your tone of voice. Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. There it is. You think I'd fall for that Americana spy? Ooh, he not great. Have that jacket was bulletproof. <laughs> he didn't want shooting up in his pajamas. How he got in his pajamas? I'll never know. Oh well. Hmm. All right. Who are you? Talk fast, and I better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. You're a dead man. Uh. Did Madame foretell that your future looks pale? No, now that you mention it. Hope you have buckets Kitty. of fun. Nice work. We did it. Yeah, you know run how to this run boat. this boat? Are you kidding, Jones? I'm a spiritualist, not a navigator. Well, what do we do now? Kerner claims there's an underwater entrance to Atlantis near here. Let's find it. Okay. Simple as that. Any idea where Kerner put the stones? We're out of luck. He's got them in his quarters. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Damn you, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a navigator. Uh... I hope we could use this wax gas. Uh, pick up. I can't Constance pick her. that up. Uh oh. Go. Oh, the pail is now part of him. Okay, wait. We have to pause. Everyone, everyone, we have to pause. We have an important redemption. Paul has redeemed Indiana Jones stock photo review. Now, if you haven't seen this before, this is uh, this is a thrilling segment where we take a piece of stock photography from the Adobe Stock Photo Archive, tagged Indiana Jones. And then we score, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, how accurately it captures the spirit of our good, good hero, Indiana Jones. So let's see here. I think I have some good ones for this evening. Uh, we'll start. Oh, yeah. I think this is a good one to start with. I think that we'll have a lot to discuss here. So let me reveal our first piece of Indiana Jones Stock Photo, and then we'll get right back to the game. So here we go. Now, again, this is from the Adobe Stock Photo Archive, and it's tagged Indiana Jones. So what does it have going for it? Like, I think something that is sometimes underrated when we think about Indiana Jones is that oftentimes he is pretty dirty. Like, he tends to get pretty sloppy in his adventures. Like, he's got dirt. On him, he's kind of, you know, got, uh, let's say he's been sweating a lot. He's, you know, he, he's an adventurer. He gets out there and he adventures hard. Um, and I feel like this Indiana Jones captures that. Like, there's definitely, there's definitely the dirtiness. Um, the hat, I mean, I don't feel like it's the Indiana Jones hat, but we've seen worse. We've seen, like, straight-up cowboy hats up to this point. He'll say he's maybe wearing a Henley uh I mean, the real problem here, I think that what appears to be the, like, 
I don't know. I guess that's a goatee, right? Without the mustache, it's a goatee. If it had the mustache, it'd be a Van Dyke. So that is a true goatee, but it's like a soul patch that's grown down to a goatee. That's not so great. And then, you know, the rope is really getting me. Uh, not only is the rope, I mean, this is a controversial statement. The rope is not a whip. Uh, just for the record, I don't believe that a rope is a whip. Um, <laughs> all whips are ropes, not all ropes are whips. Uh, that's, um, yeah, that's not a whip. And also I feel like along with the Henley and a few other touches, just a little anachronistic, like this doesn't, that rope feels like a, a much newer than 1930s, 1940s. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to give, whew, I mean, this one's a rough one. I feel like, I mean, it is a dude in a hat which scores it a few points, but I think I would give this one like a 4.2 on the indie scale. This is, this is not a passing grade. You need to go back to the drawing board and try a little harder next time. But that was Indiana Jones stock photo review. Back to the action. Thank you for redeeming that. Let's see. Now that didn't work. I really need a key. Am I supposed to get a key? Eh, it wants me to get this plunger, clearly. Who knows? It might come in handy. Plunger. What's going on here so these guys are good? He's a hair doctor. Relax! We are approaching a civilization that played with the forces of nature the way we play with toys! Come now, don't exaggerate. That's right. It's Codename Iceman. Hmm. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of... Are you coming? I'll just stay here and make sure Sleeping Beauty doesn't wake up. <laughs> Imagine acid-powered submarine. Like a yellow one? Walk to the head. Don't mind if I do. Use head. I don't have to. Well, I mean, you may wish you did later. Uh oh. It's in your closet. Nothing? Let's go see more burly boys. That was close. Hey, Nathan, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Where did it go? No, I didn't want to go down. So I need a key. Soldier did kind of look like they had an EGA ballot. That's how uh, backwards they were. Perhaps the keys amidst the cold cuts. That's where I keep my keys. Right in the old baloney drawer. Oh man, I could go for a white sausage. You know, I am heading off to Germany in just like a month and a half. Uh, I'll be there for uh, a little over a week. I hope to uh, eat many a good sausage while I'm there. I'll be doing the Gabriel Knight Peace Within tour of Southern Germany. Hitting all the hot spots. Possibly finding a lost Wagner uh, opera. Maybe performing it. The Feast Within. That's right. I can't reach it. Use some imagination, Jones. Seen all of Ludwig's creations? Absolutely. Never been to Germany. Should be fun. Going to the conning tower. I would panic if I broke off a lever inside of a submarine. I feel like anything in a submarine could be the thing that keeps me alive.
Whoa. Whoa. That was close. Oh, wait. There's another hatch. The closet door is in the way. Oh, come on. Come on. Here we go. The submarine looks like it was designed by Wes Time Anderson. Relax, Herr Doctor. Relax. We are approaching a civilization. Doesn't seem to open. Come I want to use battery acid exaggerate. on something. How else do you? Whoa! The acid's eating right through the metal. Yes. Here there are the it stone is. discs. There's a small key in here too. <laughs> hey, RJ. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. There's Rosella getting carried away. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The submarine could be full of Nazis. I'm starting to suspect the same thing. Starting to think these aren't just your average mid-century, uh, mid-century Germans. Let's see, where was I using the key? Ah, yes. Tiny key. Now it's unlocked. That doesn't quite work. I mean, what in the world do I do with this? Yeah, I would think the acid could have melted that too. What am I supposed to do here? This is absolute nonsense to me. Oh wait, here are the controls, huh? Some speed ahead. Controls you find, the more they get added. Yeah, I need to fix that lever. Okay, let's see here. Where is that lever? But I just literally have to put it back where it goes. Hot air balloon is just a warm up. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Thank you again for that resub, RJ. I appreciate it. Always appreciate the support. I don't think that'll work. It fits. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's sub piloting, you know it. A must in every good adventure game. Good to see you, Ben. Save here, huh? I can do that. Uh, who named Indyman? Take the screen for what seemed like an hour. Oh no. Oh wait, that's glad right by it. Oh my lord. Hey Robin. This does have a slick turn radius. I'm basically parked there. Is that not good enough? Oh, 
I go through it. Oh, Lord. I'll never do that, gang. Yeah, here we go. Now we got it. Thank you so much, Robin. All right, here we go. Good to see OSU. Look at that. Glad that baby right in. Wow, there it is. I mean, Decaf Jetta here for Jess gets good. Amazing. We're hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. How is it possible? Welcome to Atlantis, Lindy. That's my favorite ludicrous song. dark in here. See a spark plug to get the your hands off me, Jones. Oh no. Jones? Hey, you're not Jones. Hell of Indy. Ooh. Mm. Uh. Scuffle. Indy. Oh no. Sophia? Who turned out the lights? I can't do that. Ooh, what adventure game has a great final chapter? That's a good question. Um, let's see. I'm kind of running through in my head. Ooh, uh, ooh, man. Um, yeah, Gabriel not one. Gabriel not one's a good choice. Monkey Island 1 is very solid. Yeah, I still think personally I prefer all the um, all the Melee Island stuff. Sort of ladder. Yeah, I don't love the uh, pixel hunt for things to interact with sort of puzzle that much after we've done it once. What else has a good final act? Like, I feel like... I feel like maybe none of the Space Quest games get stronger toward the end. Okay, Curls Bequest and Amon Ra definitely both ramp up the tension, which helps. I think those are good ones. Oh, wait, did I see something gold in there? Or did, no, I just touched my own gold box. Oh, I know. I know what to do with rubble. No? Doesn't seem to work. That's not the puzzle? So is it gradually brightening the room? That's amazing. Yeah, infiltrating the ship at the end of Space Quest 1 was pretty cool. And they strung together some kind of neat puzzles in there. And you had the action of being able to fire the pulse ray and some stuff. That's not a bad pick. I like that one. I might, yeah, I mean, of all the Space Quests, maybe it's the strongest end. Any of the Leisure Suit Larry games get better toward the end. Uh, 
I don't know what in the world to do here. I can't move it. Why, it's pointing at me. Maybe I should just make myself a sandwich. The ladder is in place. Oh, wait, the ladder's in place? Touch stone it thing. It feels like a stone box. It's opened. I don't think that'll work. Here we have Mel Rod now. I'll never open this door manually. Yeah, I really liked the, uh, the seemed to open. Dollar General version of of Harrison Ford we get here. I think it's a Does great it performance. Open. Thank you, Ricky. Yeah, I really dig when a uh, when an adventure game changes around its verbs for a scene like this. Like, touch is really fun. It feels like a spindle for the stone discs. It's too dark to see what I'm doing. Well. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. There's a cute rod. That's right, Ben. It's, it's good when they uh, change the verbs, but they have to stay in the right order. Otherwise, I'm uh, just furious. I'll never open this door manually. Take a closer look at that rod we hear. It's a metal rod with an opening on one end. Rod with an opening, you say? Hmm. I don't think that'll work. Oh, there we go. Where are you? Kerner must have grabbed her somehow. Oh, wow, he made a torch. He made a cool torch. Okay. Oh, jeez Louise. I didn't seem to do anything. Alright, let's read our book. Final interest is jilted only to contrary minds. Okay, so contrary minds, yeah. So Okay. Sunstone Noon sign tall horns. So I didn't seem to do anything. Then... Of course, contrary. I have two beads. So the opposite. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the right way first, and then we'll opposite it. Uh... Noon sun above the full moon.
That didn't seem to do anything. And finally... Dying orbs plummeting into the Eastern Sea. Okay, so that's how it should be. When it says contrary, is that upside down then? Is it left to right? That didn't seem to do anything. Turret top wise, yeah, it's absolutely 180 degree rotation. Let's see, so 45. Okay, so... That didn't seem to do anything. Uh-oh. Only two for the inner track. Oh no. I didn't seem to do anything. I have anything. to click at it again now. I'm all discombobulated. Okay, let's see here. Moonstone is at noon. Sign. Full moon. Noon sign. Okay. The mouth of the statue. Haha, -ha, we did it, gang. Thank you for the help. Hey, experiment you go. Ooh, Deco Watch. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. So, what opened up? Did I get something already? Mouth of the statue opened up. It's a statue, and its mouth is open. The mouth of the statue closed. Mouth of the statue opened. Everything's going great. Let's see. I don't think that'll work. Why, it's pointing at me. I was gonna say more beads. Everything's beads these days. Ah, oh, beads. All right. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> this is one place where you won't automatically retrieve the stones. That's bad to hear. I absolutely would have left them. Just a crab room, huh? Classic crab room.
room. That's useful. Oh my lord. Ponderous, man. Already I'm exhausted by it. This looks important. I think I've seen this screenshot before. Oh, you look at that. What an archaeological find. <laughs> look at impressive pump. I look at that and I think impressive pump. Molten lava. Pick that up. Can't pick up the molten lava? I can't pick that up. I don't think I'm ready yet, am I? For whatever this room holds. Lava room. Okay, at least it labels it. That's... Could be worse. Could be worse. Another crab room. Love those crab rooms. Oh, cool. This must be Crab Central. This is where they all come from. How do we kill the crabs? Crab Central over here. Uh, Crab Room. That's a uh, scroll effect there. Another more different one. I don't know why you'd do this at the end of your game. Oh, that guard bear be carefully doesn't run into me. All right, sweet. Some steampunk gear. What a mess. What a mess. Andy thinks this robot should be better taken care of. I didn't make this mess. I'm not picking it up. Petulant man shall pass. I've got it. I've got it covered. I bet that Indiana Jones with all the rope from earlier could have handled this. This even slowed him down. Hey, injured ally. We never picked up a mess we didn't make. The world would be very messy. Now this is... This is very true. Also, I didn't make that mess. I'm not picking it up. Sounds like something like my kid would say. Uh, we're gonna have a problem here. Look at that. Look at those moves. Smooth. Whoa! Get a load of this. This is our antediluvian temple. It's a large stone wheel if I've ever seen one. I can't pick that up. 
I can't move it. It's carved to look like a beetle. Which one? It's carved to look like a beetle. It appears to be a tube running back into the machine. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Wow, Dreamship, you won every single monkey combat fight. It's pretty impressive. By the way, welcome back, Injured Ally. Glad to see you. Octagonal. Swap to the funeral. Eek, ooh, chi. Hey, Magic Map. Great to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you're doing well. You're here just in time for the action. I don't want to get rid of this stuff. Well, I do. Well, I don't know what to do with any of this mess. Oh, dream ship. You got stupid monkey mode. That's uh, that's always the dream. When the RNG is working for you instead of against you. you gotta make hay while the sun shines. Huh. Crab room, huh? can't from here oh you can't you were able to talk through to her through the walls of a submarine earlier that bulkhead didn't slow you down one tiny bit took out the hardest spot in the game wow okay gang uh so i guess we have to get to here from somewhere else But we're certainly solving puzzles. Oh, no. Oh, no. Machine room. Room room. Hallway. Oh, it's a statue. But before we get into this statue action, you know what it's time for. It's time for the Indiana Jones stock photo review, where I dive into the Adobe stock photo archives and I pull out only the best in Indiana Jones photography. So let's see here. And of course, we will score this on a scale of one to 10. Now, hmm, where do we want to go? You know what? I feel like. We've been dunking on a lot of these. Like, I'll be honest, a lot of these I haven't felt were the best representation of Dr. Henry Jones up to this point. So here we go. Let's try this one and try to give it an honest grade. Now, this is pretty good. I feel like this one is real close. This isn't bad at all. This is... I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe the now I almost said maybe the best, but the hat's not quite right. It's a rope again instead of a whip. I mean, yeah, I've been softened by a lot of bad indies. Like I feel like this, like I look at this one, and I think that is an easy 7.8. I think that's a 7.8. The shirt's a little too clean. I mean, that is like an Azad shirt. 
uh, which isn't quite indie. He's wearing more of a messenger bag rather than his gas mask satchel. A little too clean. Last one's too dirty. This one's too clean. Uh, Nathan Drake in disguise as Indiana Jones. I mean, this is uh, this is thirst trap indie. I mean, this much is true. I, I will agree with you completely there. Let, okay, this one's this one's not not working for me. I, I mean, I think it's good, but it's good in an uninteresting way. Let's let's get two for the price of one here. Let me uh, let me pull up another one. Um, okay, this one's good. This is again straight out of the Adobe Photoshop. I'm sorry, the Adobe Stock Photo Library uh, tagged Indiana Jones. So, um, what do we think? This one, I mean, honestly, no notes. Um, yeah, I mean, this one kind of nails it. I mean, it, yeah, he's not wearing what Indiana Jones normally wears, but he's definitely got the vibe of a Dr. Jones. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. Who says Indy doesn't go on safaris on his day off? Possibly a safari at the Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure. But um, this, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is one of our better ones so far. I think, again, tagged as Indiana Jones. So clearly this is meant to be. Um, well, I mean, he doesn't wear the hat all the time. He doesn't wear it when he's asleep. He doesn't wear it when he's making love. Um, but maybe he doesn't wear it on... Uh, on safari either. Ostrich slows hat. Hey, Seth Aurelius, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for the rain. You're here literally just in time. We are reviewing some Indiana Jones stock photography. So uh, let me give a shout out here to Seth Aurelius. Thank you so much uh, <laughs> for the rain. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Jess. Uh, I'm streaming <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> at the Pain of Atlantis tonight. And we're just reviewing some Indiana Jones stock photography. This is straight from the Adobe Stock Photo Archives. Uh, and uh, this was tagged Indiana Jones. And I think, yeah, this guy's a 10 out of 10. This is, uh, you know, toe to tip. That's an indie. Um, just like Indy. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, you know, I said earlier, an actual photo of Harrison Ford as Indy on my scale would probably only get about a 9.5. I'm going to give this a 9.4. This is pretty close. I mean, it looks like it could be Harrison Ford. That's the important thing. So there you go. That's a two for one deal um, on, on stock photography. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. Okay, now there's a statue. Can I just break that artifact? I can't move it. I don't really? think that'll work. Has it got a statue head? It looks like a stone fish head. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. Nevada Bob. Room, room. How delightfully descriptive. Wow, that worked. Thank you again for the raid, though. Game night with the family. Dragon Quest Nine. Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Sounds like fun. Thank you again for raiding, man. Why don't you have some Girl Scout cookies? Do you have a favorite? Oh, man. I mean, Ben, knowing everything you know about me and my tastes in food at this point what do you think my favorite girl scout cookie is i'm curious to hear what chat thinks my favorite girl scout cookie uh would be um so yeah just just put your bets in the uh, in the chat there it could be anything ooh trefoil not a bad one Golden Yangles, is that thing? If so, I want one. I don't know how to do the predictions. I'm at a loss on how to do the predictions. It'll take me 20 minutes to do it. Oh, slash predictions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the problem. I don't know if, I mean, what, there's like Thin Mints, 
there's the lemony thingies. There's uh, Samoas. I mean, I'll go ahead and, and just say, uh, Robin, I'm with you. It's Samoa for me. It's Samoa all the way. Call me Samoa Joe, because I can't get enough. Um, Dosey Doze. There's a good one. Dosey Doze. I don't, I've never had Dosey Doe. I don't think I've ever had anything other than maybe. I've had the Samoas, the lemon, and the uh, Thin Mints. Now, Thin Mint out of the freezer. Mmm. Samoas, there you go. Are Adventurefuls the new ones this year? I have a neighbor who is uh, an active Girl Scout, and I hear all kinds of exciting news about uh, Girl Scout cookies. Brownie style cookies with caramel creme on top and a little salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw those this year and regretted not getting them. Eel sculpture. Yeah, I'm a Samoa's guy. I have been since I was a kid. Oh, you see, I'm all about the coconut. You give me coconut and anything and I'm happy. I mean, I'll even take the coconut and a little trail mix. Just some flakes of coconut mixed right in there in the trail mix. Mm-mm, good. I just had some trail mix uh, before the stream. coconut shampoo yeah i mean that's the pro bad coconut stuff very quickly gets into like the am i eating or drinking sunscreen right now but when done right it's hard to beat so that's really just not a hot spot huh this is just a just a ding dang room Whoa, look at this. Hot. I don't think that'll work. Truly, this is the cup of a car. The cup is now full of water. So I see why everyone said, Jess, you won't like Atlantis as much as the rest of the game. That doesn't seem to work. I get it. If only I have more beans. It's true. I won't get to that ding dang room. I'm guessing I have to go through one of the little crawly passages somewhere. Yeah, I don't like the wander around until things start to fall in place segments of adventure games. Yeah, too many locations open at once is a little cruel. Siberia made me come to think uh, to view a lack of hot spots as weak adventure game design. You know, I haven't played Siberia. I need to do that at some point. <laughs> Real polysorbate 60 situation going on here. Why bother? There's nothing but junk here. Wow. Indy just immediately becomes an expert on, uh, on discarded robot parts, huh? Budge. You gotta be kidding me. Sophia? Well? Well? I just crawled through a mile of mud for you. It was a picnic compared to life in this cell. Yeah, just close enough. Indy's voice could have never made it from over here to here, but here to here? Not a problem. It's probably just the acoustics in the room. I'm bouncing off these two crabs. Classic crab bounce. 
This is just a classic crab bounce, you know, Sonic. Are you all right? I'll feel a lot better once you open this cell. Did you miss me? Put it this way, even your company beats this cell. Ah, uh, seems like she wants out of the cell. I'll just throw an eel sculpture. I don't think that'll work. Crushed guard. Nice, crushed. Okay, I guess. Can't do anything there yet. She doesn't seem to like the cell. I'm hearing that from more and more prisoners. Cells are just not popular with the prisoners. Wow, what a horrible soldier. No, he's better than I thought. I'm gonna make that long brush. Now back to the lava room. Oh man, that James Bond maze. I wonder how close I am to have discovered everything at this point. Oh no! You must be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. Oh yeah? Another Nazi stooge. Let's see how big a goon you really are. A goon? Enough talk! Looks like he's got some rations. Sweet rations! I mean, maybe I should just start killing goons. It seemed to work out pretty well for me. And that's like a survival game. Can you sucker punch unlimited sucker punches? I guess there's eventually a limit on how many suckers are available, but... So are there any rooms I haven't discovered yet? Unlimited use of the sucker punch. Perfect. Is that documented in the uh, instructions? Or... No. Come here. You're mine. Hold! We don't like people who get in our way. Especially not the likes of you, Head Jones. We'll see about that. Wait till Nurab Sal hears about this. Where you're going, you can give him my regards. You can give my regards to Broadway. It it's in the manual. That's interesting. So, like, what really is the point of having the fighting if you're going to reveal that there's a insta-wing key? It was a very good thwack. Very satisfied. Punching Nazis is fun. This is a good point. Now we've got you. Another Nazi stooge. Oh, fighting correctly gives you more points. Well, I definitely care about points. Put him up. Uh, put him up. Put him up. He doesn't have anything worth taking. Ah, and the fist path there, ones that are immune. That makes sense, Atomic Matter. What's the difference between a stooge and a goon? This is a great question. I feel like a goon is more hands-on, whereas a stooge is really someone who's, like, hanging out with the big boss during the planning phase, but really isn't so much on the execution phase. Like a stooge is a yes man, a goon is hired help. And three goons is a very different property. Jones, Jones, 
You never learn. We'll see about that. Jones Jones. I floored you before. I can floor you again. Enough talk. Is this one of the guys I've already killed? He doesn't have anything worth taking. You're about as stealthy as the average stooge. <laughs> That doesn't seem to work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so they do respawn, huh? The cup is already filled with water. I don't have any oracalcum for the statue. Tried asking one of the crabs. I wish. There's some lava room stuff I can do. Lava room. Lava room. Okay, let's see here. Wait. Looks like something is missing. Sweet. Okay. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't know what I was trying to do. Ooh, I can cook my sausage. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we're on the same, uh, same way left there. Huh. I have something to collect the lava in. It can't be that, can it? I'd rather not stick my hand under a stream of molten lava. That doesn't seem to work. Dan Jones, I'm a big baby about things. Hmm, can a clay jar handle a molten lava? I'd rather not stick my hand under a stream of molten lava. I have something lava. to collect the lava in, eh? Right idea, wrong order. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't Stop seem to the work. Lava with the hose. <laughs> there you go. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, I like that. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. They yeah, were carrying around sandwich parts. I mean, I guess I could use those on each other. I don't think that'll work. We know we have a submarine sandwich. That's a pretty good joke. Why? I want to melt that. Yeah, I like we still have the wax cat too. That's very fun. I don't think that'll work. Huh. Is there still something I can do here with the materials I have now? That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. It's probably ship rib. That's been the solution to every other puzzle so far. Probably a ship rib situation. That doesn't seem to work. Nothing seems to work. Stop the lava flow. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. 
I don't think that'll work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work, Yang. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. You not do putting the hat in? I don't think that'll work. That doesn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. I don't think that'll work. Hey! Welcome in! Let me give a shout out here. Thank you for the raid, Game Days for Good. How are you this evening? Welcome, 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 welcome. Hope you're doing well. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome in. I'm Jess, Decap Jedi, playing a little bit of uh, Indiana Jones the Fave Atlantis. Already see some familiar faces. There's Pickle Dog and Kevin. Last scene playing Sea of Thieves. How was Sea of Thieves, DL Wolf? Good to see you. Stuck this guy in our machine. Oh man, I'm a little bit stuck, gang. Uh, I'll take a gentle hint and then I'll roll right back, Kevin, to that redemption. Don't worry. Let's see. Hmm. How was Sea of Thieves this evening? Get a cup of steaming lava? That doesn't seem to work. The cup on the tray. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'd better pour out the water first. I want that water. Thank you, gang. Aha. Okay, does that lava filled cup kind of cool eventually? Okay. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Thank you for the help, gang. All right, Kevin, we have uh, your redemption. We're back. To more Indiana Jones stock photo review, uh, where we go through the Adobe stock photo library, finding photos tagged as Indiana Jones, and then we review them on a scale of one to 10. Now, this next one, gang, this is a treat for all of you. Uh, this is uh, this is here for your patience. Um, I just wanted to share this photo tagged Indiana Jones. So look at this guy. Look at this guy. I've never seen such a less Harrison Ford looking dog than this. This is a real disappointment. I mean, here is, here's the problem. I have never once seen Indiana Jones lay on top of his hat while wearing a smaller cowboy hat. Do you realize how insane that would be? Like if Harrison Ford were laying on a hat that was like the size of a futon while wearing a tiny little hat on his head, that, yeah, that, that just wouldn't work. Um, I mean, he does have, he does have the Indiana Jones, like, spirit about him. It's a hat on a hat. Exactly a time it matter. It is a hat on a hat. I'm glad you lampshaded that. The black whip. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, gang. I mean, what if? Uh -oh. This just in, Jess hates puppies, including puppies wearing tiny hats. Oh, no. No. World famous talking bear. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. No, I mean, here's the thing. What if using Harrison Ford as the measuring stick exposed in four bit? Thank you again, Robin. What if using Harrison Ford is the measuring stick is our mistake? Like, what if this is the ultimate expression of Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford is just a certain number of degrees removed from this? This is the dog Indiana as referenced to the last crusade. Now, that could be it. I think that's not a bad theory. But yeah, here we go. I mean, this is, uh, it's a pretty good dog. 
I mean, again, though, can you imagine how funny it'd be if Harrison Ford were laying on a giant hat while wearing a tiny hat? Um, that would just be ridiculous. Um, this dog would make it to Atlantis in no time. Now nah, he would try to lick the lava. Uh, this guy doesn't look that smart. But yeah, there you go. That's that's a treat for everybody. Uh, I, I felt I've been saving this one for a special a special occasion. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I have a couple in here. I can't remember if we've actually looked at. Maybe I'll save them for uh, for another time. Okay, now we have a cup of lava. Just pour it down the crab hole. So I solve all my problems. I pour it down the crab hole. That's what I call my mouth. I'm the great crab holio. Now, long time listeners know I'm deathly allergic to shellfish. So that was, uh, that was all in jest. That was just one of those, uh, classic, uh, goof em ups. We like to have around here. It's all in jest. That's right. This guy's gonna barf out some beads. Well, that didn't quite work. Wait, what? It's a broken machine. It's an infernal machine, if you ask me. That looks much better. Thank y'all. Now, of course, I remember where we were before. Lava room. That's the hallway. You must be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. I paid fifty nine ninety five for this that. adventure. Let's talk this over some other time. Ah, guys, that up, Jones. There's no escape. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like there is an escape. It's like I found the escape. It's like the escape is briskly walking past you. Good progress here. Let's see. I guess they call this the machine room. I'm calling it a temple. Hat on hat now in Discord. Good, good, good. Like I'm playing Team Fortress 2 again. Sitting on some loot crates in my Steam account that I'm gonna sell for big money someday. I'm talking whack-ass statue. 
Well, well, oracalcum beads. Beads in the dish, beads, beads in the dish. Beads in the dish, beads, beads in the dish. Now, as I understand it, what we just witnessed is also how Bitcoin works. Like that was basically like a Bitcoin factory, am I right? Oh, leave it the way it was. Okay, thank you for the uh, for the tip. Thank you, Dreamship. So, given the rate at which I'm proceeding, how much uh, Fate of Atlantis is left? Not weird how you're in the sewer maze from Wayne's World. No, nothing is as bad as the sewer maze from Wayne's World. That's all time bad. One and a half hours, goodness gracious. <laughs> maybe at least three, two hours, maybe three. Oh, the estimates are getting worse. You know what you're doing? You're pretty close. Well, I think at this point we've we've established I do not know what I'm doing. Still on record pace. That's what's important. What is the world record on this one? Six minutes? All of it lasts about two and a half hours. Oh, wait, there's the room I haven't been to. Because of this whole situation. Snap. Crackle. Plop. Uh-oh, that didn't work very well. Wait, was that not what I was supposed to do? Or do I just need to do it again? Whoops, I guess I just wasted a bead. Oh, man. I don't know. Made a huge mistake. Remember what the eel did in Iceland. Remember what the eel did in Iceland. Not entirely, no. <laughs> no. I remember it was embedded into a wall that froze somebody. Oh, it melted away the ice by heating up. So I had the exact opposite. true i still am lightly concussed now this is stupid gang a lot of you know that like a couple of weeks ago i suffered a concussion i guess it's been well well or a calcum like beads. two weeks and a day now and a couple of days ago i plopped down on the couch and i guess i plopped a little too vigorously because after i was finished plopping i had a headache again for like 24 hours straight. So I think I might have re-aggravated my uh, concussion with a, up oh, my gear, dang it. Thank you, Dream Ship. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I mean, I don't. that's the problem. I don't think it was that bad of a plot. I think it's solely, my brain is so, so very weak at this concussion. That's right. 
<laughs> my brain is uh, so very mushy at this point that even the mildest uh, of shaking or trauma is apparently enough to uh, cause trouble with it. So yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I still have a little bit more recovery time on the old concussion. Jones, Jones, you'll never learn. We'll see about that. Thank you, Andrew Ally. I've been trying to get plenty of sleep. Let's get this over with. My thought exactly. I guess it's not uncommon he doesn't for these things to take him. months to fully uh, to fully get back in uh, in good standing with one's brain. I mean, I should probably take care of my brain. I feel like uh, it's really the best thing I have going for me. Save that Nazi concussion, that's right. Long concussion. That's right, I have long concussion. That's exactly right, Tommy Matter. Ah, Dr. Jones. You got away before, but not this time. Oh man, you know we'll see about that. I played Put in high school through one absolute concussion like didn't remember the game the next day kind of concussion and a second concussion back in football that i think i sustained and then played through and on the one that i know happened like the next day at practice i told the coach hey i think i'm or i guess the monday after the friday that i suffered the concussion um I told the coach, hey, I think I was concussed in the game on Friday night. I don't remember anything about it. And my coach said, yeah, Jess, we thought you might be concussed too, because for the first time ever, you just shut up, <laughs> you just shut up and played football. <laughs> Instead of talking to us the entire game <laughs> and talking to your teammates and your opponents. And everyone else is like, you didn't seem really dialed in. I was a talky guy in the field, I guess. <laughs> what a bad choice. I mean, I thought, it's not like we thought head trauma was great back in the 90s. I think we knew it was bad, but yeah, nowadays, surely I would have been pulled for a few weeks and that sort of stuff. It's hard to believe that everybody's like, nah, just hop back in there. If you can remember, if you're forming new memories, you're good to go. What's the point of interacting with people? If you don't interact with people, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Mr. Eel is your friend. I don't think that'll work. I should talk to him. Wait, use... Work it. Wait, let me save. I don't have to do this again. I guess I just saved. Use Orca Clocklum. Eel. Hey, it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. So boil off all your eels. <laughs> Playgrounds for death traps and cocoa puffs were considered part of a balanced breakfast. Ooh, slag. Classic slag. It's all that's left of the eel statue. I don't need a worthless heap of slag. Well, you say that, but you don't know that. It's possible to beat this game with only one machine trip. Interesting. Who knows what I could have achieved in life with just a few less concussions. 
or a few fewer. See, I don't know. Ally? Very romantic. Hey, Sophia. I can't pick that up. Hi, Sophia. There's too much junk to carry. <laughs> Says the adventure game protagonist. And you need to get tough. Get key card, yes. Sophia? Use key card and slot. Well. See you soon. Don't leave me here, Indy. <laughs> so can I really not do anything here? Oh, pick up statue part. It's some kind of machine part. That's not very useful. Jones, don't you dare leave me here, you, you troglodyte. Wow. After these messages, we'll be right back. Dungeon. It's a dungeon. Let's go to the canal. Really, an octopus? need any old bones. Hello there, Octopus. Uh, that's Mr. Octopus? <laughs> the claim agent people trading heads. I think there are several varieties of it, but yes. Crab like craft. Guessing I'm not ready for this yet. Doesn't feel like I am. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Get some baked. Sushi? Where I'm from, we call that baked. You remember that great Terry Bradshaw commercial from like 25 years ago? Classic Terry Bradshaw. Speaking of concussions, we already have bait, eh? Yeah. Uh, Tom Hardy, that's bait. Uh, that great gif, uh, that's bait. It's a me, Tom Hardy, with my famous catchphrase, that's bait. I don't think that'll work. Be baked to catch more bait. Goodness gracious. Why, it's pointing at me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So to the crab room to catch a crab. I don't maybe in our work. Maybe in our box. Old crab box. The old crab box. Ah, Dr. Jones. 
You got away before, but not this time. Don't yes. be too sure. Let's get this over with. My thought exactly. One punch, that's all it took. I hit him in the ribs and his inside shook. How can I say this and be a little discreet? Let's just say this bow's released. Hashtag crab room. That's right. I feel like really our useful uh, ship's rib has uh, has let me down recently. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think that'll work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Well, that doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work, gang. Hmm. <laughs> We've barely been to the outside ring. Is that where we need to be? a classic outside ring situation. Another room I still need to visit, of course. Do, 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 do. Yeah, some sort of sense of when rooms are connected to Valiant Cheese. That would, uh, that would definitely help. Oh. Ooh, that is neat that the drums stop when Indy stops moving. What a nice little touch. Yeah, that's true. This is still in the you could reasonably expect people to draw maps phase of human existence. Now, this might be useful. Uh, earlier, you were too good to pick up some bones. You're Mr. No Bones back then. No bones about it. Bark, bark. This game's rough. So now back to the crab room. Crabroom. Subway. What the heck? Skibbity Subway. That's not very Sigma. Subway, eat free, eat free. Yes, I get that reference. It's me, Crab Room. You're probably wondering how I got here. Okay, where is that awesome new bone? Use rib cage with. That doesn't seem to work. Use bratwurst with rib cage. That'll really stick it to your works. ribs. Mated rib cage. Will you look at that? What will they think of next? I hope this catches crabs. <laughs> I hope I don't.
How do I know when it's done? It doesn't seem to open. Ah, had you missed the sandwich from the sub, the brats there is an alternative. I have not played the dig yet. That is still on the to-do list. To-dig list. Thank you, Bob. It's nice that they built in the little, uh, little backup there for it, though. It's a nice design. I'd love to know if that came out of, like, the playtesting process. Like, if, uh... That was something they realized later on and added, or if it was always a fail safe there. Right about an hour left. Wow, that's not bad. Ah, Dr. Jim. Yeah, the dig's coming. Away before, but not this time. Or we'll miss the Monkey that. Island. Oof. Put him up. I have a copy of the dig that came in a uh, LucasArts. It's a sort of LucasArts bundle I bought at some point, but I think I installed it back then and played like 20 minutes. It's like, nah, I'll come back to this someday, and then I never came back. Okay. Let's save. We went a long way without a save. Crab get. I can't board it from here. I can't board it from here. Let's choose the hose. I don't think that'll work. Let's throw a bead at it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Yeah, this is some nice color cycling. Let's see. So I got rid of the octopus. I use can I finally use my whip? I feel like I haven't gotten to use my whip as much as I would like. I don't think that'll work. This game is just not gonna let me use a whip, is it? Oh, use those legs. Even better. Even better. Whoa. Whoa. He's got a motor. Stop this crab. I want to get off. Maybe it will just open for me. It's closed. It's closed. It's closed. It doesn't seem to open. It's a bad gate, then. It doesn't seem to open. See the spindles below the glowy? Actually, I didn't. But I do now. It doesn't quite fit. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Oh, he uses gum on something. Just let me use the gum on something. Is that too much to ask? It doesn't quite fit. Why if I cram the sandwich on it? What else do you put spindle on spindles in this game? 
It doesn't quite fit. Wax cats. That's right. It doesn't quite fit. Classic wax cat situation. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It doesn't quite fit. This is a good big crab friend. I'm guessing this takes us in a circle. It doesn't quite fit. Answer that is no. I'll never get through here. Not that attitude. You know what? Actually, I think this junction and this juncture is a good place for me to call it a night. Uh, it's getting a little bit late here. Uh, and uh, I feel like uh, we're on our way to something big. So I think I'm going to pause there. And I want to say to everyone, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for the raids. Uh, I've, I'm really enjoying this still. Atlantis hasn't been as bad as I feared it would be. But a lot of that's been because y'all have been here to help me. So I appreciate that. So thank you very much. And thank you for hanging. Um, what's coming up? I'm not 100% sure about this. I have to check uh, my daughter's softball schedule, but I'm thinking I might come back tomorrow night and play a little bit more Fallout New Vegas. Uh, and then of course, next week on Wednesday, we'll be back with more Indiana Jones, the Fave Atlantis. Fingers crossed, maybe we can wrap it up. That's what I'm hoping for next time. So uh, so that's the, that's the big plan. Now we should raid before we go. And here's the good news. Salon by the Sea, who's a, a, a streamer that, uh, that I enjoy and a lot of y'all are familiar with. Cylon by the Sea is streaming Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So that's uh, that's a nice uh, nice place to head over for more LucasArts action, some more Indiana Jones fun. So I'm going to launch a raid over to Cylon. Be sure to tell her decap chat I sent you. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I will see you all again very soon. Take care.